Uh, okay, so you probably tell from the title, I had a fuel uh, tank decide to relieve itself uh, all over my floor. Um, it's it's from my it's from my lawnmower, right? It's a Husqvarna lawnmower. It's probably 11 years old, something like that. Uh, but the tank itself looks fine, except for the underneath of it. Uh, yeah, I woke up at like four in the morning a couple of days ago, and I said I had this horrible smell was in the house, uh, and then it got stronger and stronger as I got you know closer to the garage, and then. Uh, yeah, ultimately, I was like, oh, let me check the, you know, if it's coming from the lawnmower shed. And I opened that door to the lawnmower, and it was like somebody punched me in the face. It, it was, yeah, it was bad. It was a bad, bad deal. Uh, my, I felt bad for my dogs because they're, uh, they're a lot closer to that wall. Um, so they, they, they got a pretty good, uh, pretty good two or three hours of just really heavy fuel smell. <laughs> they were probably a little goofy. Um, uh, they survived, so no dead dogs yet. Um, so I'll, I'll show you guys this, this failure. It's, it's kind of weird. It looks like it kind of ballooned out first. Um, and then it's got a one inch crack in it, but only about half of that crack is actually where the, the fuel was leaking out of. Uh, th that tank has never swollen up and, or done anything like that. Um, not that I've ever noticed, you know, I, it's like I said, 10, 11 years old. I've never seen it have any kind of issue. Uh, but it, it looks like the issue was at the bottom because the, the bottom of it's got like a, a bulge in it and then it ultimately just failed. Not sure how much fuel hit the deck. Uh, I, it's, it was three days ago. My house still reeks. Uh, so it, it was pretty bad, I guess. Uh, I can't remember if it was full or half full. Or, you know, or it wouldn't have been full, but yeah, it could have been, could have been half full at least or maybe more. So yeah, reeks, still reeks. Um, but yeah, let me, let me show you what happened to this thing. So this is the, the bottom of the fuel tank. You can't see this, this section here when it's installed. Uh, but it's got, hopefully I can get this in the camera. It's got this big, like, kind of, like a hump right here. It's like a boob, like a little tiny boob. <laughs> um, and then where it's leaking is right, uh, whoa, is right here. So this is actually, if you, if you can hear that. It's cracked, right? So you can feel your fingernail. There's a few little hairline cracks there too, but that, there's nothing coming out of those. Um, so yeah, whatever. I'm not sure why this would have just cracked like that. Um, yeah, don't don't know. But um, here, I, I got my. I took my smoke machine up. Um, yeah, I've got the. That's for. This is an exhaust cone. <laughs> I just jammed it in there, and then I put a pair of grips on this this fuel line. Right, that's how the fuel. It's gravity fed, so that's kind of your your exit. Um, so yeah, let me, let me turn on my smoke machine. I'll, I'll see if I can get you guys a shot of the leak. So hopefully you guys can see that. It, it's kind of hard to see. I just put this light like right in front of it. Um, just to try and, try and catch that smoke. Uh, I think you, I think I can see it hitting the light. Uh, but that's, it's billowing out of this, this guy right here. Let's try it. Whoa. See if I can catch it this way. I don't know. I'm struggling here. Um, but yeah, it's just firing out of that crack, right? And you can see it coming over, hitting the light. Uh, yeah. Struggling. Maybe that's better. Can you see that? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, there you go. It's uh, just decided to, you know, explode her. Yeah. I'm not sure why that cracks down there. Uh, there is a little, um, uh, like a casting mark. You know, there's uh, when you blow mold stuff, there's always a piece where you, you know, it's, you can hold on to it. They just chop it off, right? The, the cracks right beside that, like right, right underneath it. Um, I don't know. The thing's 10, 11 years old, so I don't, I don't think really that has anything to do with it. But uh, yeah. Uh, my grass needs cut, so, you know. Uh, I did order a new one. It won't be here until the middle of next week. I think Wednesday is the guaranteed delivery, whatever. So I got to plastic weld this back together. I, I don't really have a choice. Well, I could borrow the neighbor's lawn more, but I mean, it's not going to take much to fix that one. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to, this is going to be a little demo and plastic welding. Uh, the trick with this is you got to rough the surface up, right? And then it's got to be clean. Clean, clean, clean. So get a stainless steel brush, 
you know, get it all cleaned up. Uh, you can drill a little dimple on the other side of the crack, which stops it from spreading. I'm not going to bother doing that because I don't care about this. this. This is not a permanent deal. But this is, I just need this tank one more time for an hour so that I can uh, get the grass cut. So I'm not, I'm not going to do a very good job here or take my time. I'm just going to slap some plastic on here uh, and try and get this to, to seal up, right? That's all we're doing. We don't really care about this guy. All right, I'm going to just come down in this channel right here where this crack is. I'm just going to make like a little V, uh, just a channel where we can, you know, fill up with plastic. And the channel I'm going to make is going to go beyond the crack on, on the other side. Let me find something to do that with. Uh, toolbox tour. No. Uh, I'll get a drill. Let's see. I've got some. Uh -huh. What is this? Astro 2181. There you go. That'll do it. So what this is, I'll show you. I got This is not an Astro one. This was like 50 bucks, this one. I can't, can't remember what I bought this for. It was something particular I needed it for. I can't remember, but that, this was this was expensive. Uh, but what we'll do is grab this little guy right here, or maybe this one. It's got a round head on it, uh, or the cone one would probably work. Um, we'll start with this little guy. Uh, we're just going to go in and basically uh, make a little channel. Uh, yeah, anything with like a rounded top or a point will work. Oh. And you want to go slow here, you know, keep it on a slow setting and stuff. And try not to be too much of an animal. Pretty much all you need. I might go a little more. I'm gonna try and get that little piece of dirt that's that's in the crack. I That's all you need. Just rough that up. The rough as toast. Oh, let's see. Yeah. We're just going to fill this up with plastic. We've created like a nice, a nice uh, uh, a cav cavity here that we can use to just, just weld some plastic in there. I just like to get a nice big ball of plastic built up here. I'll show you guys how I do it. I just basically press it on. It's kind of melted in. Ah, mosquito. Mosquito. Don't let the mosquitoes get you. Mosquito, fuck off. Fucking mosquitoes, man. Those mosquitoes are brutal.
This is not going to be pretty. Again, it's not permanent, right? So, don't care. It. All right, so I did just go ahead and I, I just put water in it. I didn't want to put fuel in it. Uh, I just put water in it there. Uh, hopefully you can see it's, I don't know, I don't know how much I put in it. Uh, but yeah, nothing's leaking out of it so far. So I'm just going to let it sit there, uh, full of water. Can you guys can you, can you at least hear it maybe? Uh, it's hard to see. The tank's so dirty. Um, but it's got, I don't know three or four cups of water in it. Uh, so far, dry. As dry as your slipper. Um, yeah, I'm gonna let it sit there for, I don't know, half an hour, an hour, and then I'll come back out and check it. Uh, does that work? Can you see? Can you see the water now? No? Okay, I give up. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll come back out and check it. And we'll see if we have any uh, leakage. Another top trick if you're doing something like this is grab a uh, blue cloth. Just you know, set it right underneath it there. That way you'll be able to see if anything leaks out. Okay, it's been, how long has it been? 37 minutes, I think. Something like that. 38, something, somewhere around there. So, hopefully, <laughs> there's no wet spots. <laughs> look for the wet spots. Hey, look at that. Love it. So, whoa, phew. We're good. So I'm gonna dump this water out of here and then uh, I'm gonna you know, use an air gun and blow, you know, make sure it's nice and dry. And then tomorrow I'm gonna put this back in and we'll go cut the grass. Just a quick, again, I have no idea why that thing failed. Uh, but that's just a quick, you know, if you get into a situation there's a quick way to plastic weld, uh, you know, that, that kind of a uh, rupture, you know, back together. Uh, it's not that hard, really. Think about it. Just dig it out, fill it up with plastic. You know, make sure you cover front, back, and the sides. That's it. You know, it's not. Uh, it's not not that hard. The the plastic is one. Definitely don't make this a permanent repair. The plastic that I used uh, this. You know, this is. I've got tons of these. Right, these are just plastic. You know, black plastic. Right. There's no way this is rated for um, gasoline. So if you're doing this, make sure it's a temporary fix. And this is not, this is not a, a permanent, permanent fix. So 